Okay, we are back. Back in Nibbleheim, Cloud's hometown. And today we're heading up to Mount Nibble. So these guys have anything else to say? I'm learning about Setheroth. Let's see if we can go catch up with him. As we head back into these mountains that we saw in the flashback, so we'll be able to uh, explore them a bit more thoroughly this time. Uh, of party members, I decided not to take Vincent yet, because he was the highest level. And we'll get time to see him at some point, it's not like you're not going to see him. But I figured I'd bring the two lowest characters, which is Baratoneris. So we've equipped them with some new weapons, I'll just show off quickly what we've equipped it. I'm not sure where I got some of these weapons from, but we've got the equivalent to that microphone that Cat Sith had. It's got a shitload of slots in it. So a rumder full of bloody materia and summons. Uh, Barrett is now using the enemy launcher, which is something we got in the mansion, maybe? One of the chests, I think. Uh, Cloud doesn't got anything new. Same old same. That's about it, really. So yeah, we'll see Vincent at a later date. Since he is now the highest level at 31. Vincent Valentine is his name as well. I don't think he ever mentions that. The Paris gun. <laughs> Some of these mobs have been kind of annoying. There are some quite dangerous mobs up in these mountains, from what I remember. Lay flat. Where you lay flat. So we've got a new fancy weapon. Yeah, kick a chest. Hopefully this area will level everybody else up to catch up. I've only got to see certain sections of this mountain area and the caves and stuff, so we'll actually get to explore all of it. Rune Blade, that sounds like a new weapon for a cloud. Some nice damage. Well, I'm say just 40 over 39, it's not that much better, but sure, we'll take it. I've just rammed in full of random crap that we're not ever going to use, but it levels it up. I should put some of these things in as well, just to level them up for the sake of it. Let's check the sword out. Oof, don't know if I like that sword, but sure. Let's take out the air support, shall we? I don't know why I bothered me laying with Darius, but I'm trying to save the mana, I guess. There we go, that's one. Should I try and use some summons? Don't wanna... so, oh, Odin costs 80 mana. Wait, if it costs 30, and Shiver is 32, 34. Do a bit of Shiver. Zerus needs the kills. She can never get her next limit break. Cracking. So I'll give Barrett their other ones that she doesn't have. Just to try and level them up, I guess. Oh, should we show Demi off? I've connected to an all material, so it hits everybody. So that was a poor example of what Demi does. Should actually look what it does, shouldn't I, really? Yay, limit break. Play beam, bitch. Kick both of your asses. For Barrett. Let's 
keep on tracking. Tracking, tracking. So there's the rope bridge. I believe we can go up here. Should we do a bit of white wind because we need a bit of healing? We oh, also got a limit break. Now, I want Barry to get his limit break before I do it. He's very close. There we go. Grenade bomb! He's still only got his first one, damn it. Fury Brand, which gives us our limit breaks back. Nice, I do like that. <laughs> See if Grenade Bomb can finish it. I kind of need other people other than Cloud to be killing them. Just for limit breaks. I feel like Cloud gets most of the kills. There we go. He must be close to be fair to getting his... There it is! <laughs> As I say, every time. Hammer blow. Can't remember if that's any good. Probably not. I want to say, actually, maybe it's like one of those ones that knocks the enemy out of the match. Or out of the fight. Blows, blows away one opponent. Lucky them. It's basically, yeah, it knocks them out of the out of the fight. And they're just not in the fight anymore, basically. Obviously it doesn't work on things like bosses, but random scrub mobs it can work on. I see a chest. I'm sure it'll be worth it. Bit of blade beam going on. Nobody else can just finish it off. Donk. Or not. What is it? Boss? Where the fuck is that? It's not Materia, is it? What is that? It's just a range. I keep my peepers out for it. So maybe it's a weapon? Ah, oh, there it is. Yeah, it's a pin for 13. Okay. Good to know. Ah. Damn it. Navigating these mountains is a bit of a nightmare. I think these are called Harriers. Oh no, it's like speed. Maybe there's a version of them called Harriers. That's it, they do a move called Harry. I seize. That should do some nice damage as well. Let's heal up. I think I can manipulate one. Not today. Should we do on it and try and kill it? Bit of bolt. Try and get back down from this mountain then.
Show you some summons. Should do a bit of Odin. Odin Sun. Steel bladed sword. Certainly does the trick. Twenty nine frames. Apparently, you can't go over on that side of the rock, so this way we go. So, yeah, this is the rope bridge that snapped in the flashback, which I guess was like five years ago. Seems they replaced it. So this is the other side of the road bridge that we never actually got to see. Instantly into a fight. Hey guys. By fire we purged. Steady. I still want to get the other choke about Mog animation. Who freaked my old friend? <laughs> nice. He's one of the cooler ones, looking at least. And animation. Him and Shiver are kind of a classic. Uh, again, we're wasting a lot of mana that we don't really have. Now these pipes all lead down to something different. Some of them have items and stuff. So I'm gonna quick save here and when I fuck it up I can come back up nice and fast without baffling around. Let's go with number one. Which takes me right down to the boss of this area, which is not really what I want just yet. We'll come back to you later. Let's try number two. Boop. There we go, that's better. Power soul. <sighs> Is that a weapon? No, probably not. That's a glove. A tiffin. Power up near death. Huh. Probably won't be using that then. So I assume you have to be on like yellow health for that to be useful. Don't touch the green spider thing. That'd be bad. So you can actually go out this way. I believe this will take you through the areas. You go in the flashback. You're gonna go to the reactor. I'm pretty sure there's nothing there though. There might be stuff in here. Maybe. Potentially not, but we'll have a look around. Because the XP will do is good. That's a lot of mobs. Let's send the chocobo when we get a go. Stop with that shit. Death blow. Was that difficult? It's got two exclamation marks. No, that's the same. I didn't notice it having two exclamation marks. On the end of death blow. Meh. Seems one of those bug things has like stopped moving. Is that a side effect of death blow maybe? Or metro magic? Let's round them up.
Boom! Let's level up. Barrett's leveled up. Nice. There's a chest there, so there is something in here to get. We should probably heal. Limit break! Close enemy. Oh, kind of an enemy. See, it doesn't seem really worth it. I'd rather just do damage to everybody. These mobs didn't keep casting stop on us or whatever. My healer is down. Cloud to the heal, go! Right, let's just grenade bomb these fools if we get murdered. All oh, level up. So let's heal before we uh, use White Wind. No. See all the summons and stuff from here as well, but you can't use them. Use Cloud to heal because Aeris' mana is not the best at the minute. Everything in here, you have to use this to, yeah, okay, you have to sneak down and around. Boop. An elixir. And that's it, I guess. There's the fountain of material, whatever they were talking around. What's this? Another elemental material. Meh. Could have been something a bit better. I guess we'll continue on. Another cave? Where's this go? Don't remember if there's actually anything here. I think this is one of the areas you see a part of in the flashback. When you first drop down. Maybe. Oh, hello. Now this is called a zoo. I can tell you that straight away. These are kind of an iconic enemy. Pretty sure in the bit later games it only has one U in it though. Fury Brand! Give me limit break! Should we try Barracks? New one, see if we can get rid of it. Just show it off. Bop, 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 bop. Bam. Fine, Clement has it is then. <laughs> nice. So that's why I will never use Hammer Blow ever again. <laughs> God damn it. Don't even know if there's anything up here. I think that's a dead end. I, I can't go anywhere. See the reactor over there, though. So I think this is where you would come to go to the reactor. But I'm pretty sure there's nothing in the reactor. But you would think there would be, considering its significance in the story. I try and demi all on these again. Try and show this off a bit better. It generally takes off like a percentage of health, demi. I don't know if it's like a quarter, and maybe later on it'll be like half. But everyone's been frozen, so now we're all going to stand here and wait. Bloody annoying mobs. If we do white wind, that should technically heal everybody. But everyone's moving now, so that's pointless. Get off my back, damn it! Yeah, bitch.
Restore level up and just levels in general and some ether, thank god. This Aeris is uh, a little low. Where is my ether? Why is it right down here? It's not organised well at all. There we go, that'll have to do. You guys are annoying, go away! We're gonna need some more enemy skills. That being said, the boss that we're gonna be fighting that you saw back in the cave earlier will actually give us a really good enemy skill. Which is lightning based, I believe. Go, my chocobo! Diamond dust. more kills for Eris. We're working towards that next limit break. I think after we've been to the next area after here, nice level ups. I think we'll uh, have another grind fest and get everyone's second limit, uh, third limit levels. Get that all done and dusted. So some of the characters I've joined fairly recently are going to have a bit of a way to go. So it may take me a while. these things will do this. Are we going to stop it? Yeah, it is. Okay, White Wind should heal the stopping effect. Why would you cast it twice, you morons? It's alright, I'm going to kill you all. You're all fine. Back on your feet. God damn it, Chocobo Mog. Do something fucking different. I know you've got a different animation, so do it. Pat Chocobo, we got it! Woo! Priceless. Sure that weight was totally worth it. I'm sure running all the way to this reactor is totally not worth it either. So I think we gotta have a look around. I love the stare down crap, don't they? Great, now I gotta wait again. Anger of the land. There's a door back here, I remember. Can you get in this? Is this just a shortcut? Ah. Well, I guess we have to go there anyway. So let's have a quick look in this reactor. 
confident there is nothing in here. Look, get up the stairs, you douchebag. Absolutely nothing in here, from what I can tell. Can't even go into the old Genova room. Obviously she's not in there anymore, but... Yep, that's it. Let's head on back to what we were supposed to be doing. I've already forgot which way I was going. There you go. I mean, this can't be the official way to get into this reactor. Balancing on these little pipes and then climbing down chains. Okay, we're not this ladder down, I think. There we go. That's a way back up. So technically, I think we would have had to go round anyway. Because otherwise, we won't be able to get back up to do any more of the tunnels. Or slides, or whatever you want to call them. Let me just seriously stop with this fucking lay flat. Not lay flat, this stair thing you keep doing that stops everybody. It freezes them solid. Really fucking annoying. Luckily, White Wen is super useful. Can I ever go then? Jesus. So there's actually a really strong enemy you can fight in here that you can just encounter randomly. I wonder if we'll see it. Kind of hope so, so I think it might actually have something useful to learn off him. If it doesn't kill me horribly. My mana is looking awesome. Okay, let's head back up and down slide number three, I guess. God damn it. I'm sick of seeing you annoying little shits. Be gone. Let's see what they do. I might need to do Y Wind again just to get everybody moving. Yep. So many goes so fast. Cut him in half, Odin. Look at the moon, it's just like missing a chunk at the side of it. The hell happened to the moon? Thirty-one for Ares. Technically, we could swap her out now for Vincent. She's the same level. Okay, so that's quick save, and then let's just check out number three, which was useless. Boop. Number four, then. Is that four or five? I can't tell. There we go. Four, I think. There we go. That's the one I wanted. I want to say five would just take me back up to where I was. All that for an all material. 
fair enough. Right, since we're at a save point, we could probably swap and show off Vincent then. But we've got to do the classic thing of unequipping everybody. Let's get that done. Well, not everybody, just Ares probably. Oh, maybe Barrow, I don't know who else is at the level. Let's go have a look. 30, 30, 29. Now 32. <laughs> this is kind of keeping up with everybody. <sighs> Shit. Um, let's take Vincent and 13. No, let's take Cat Seth. Good. Need to want to quit Barrett first though. Take uh, Cat Sith because he can hold a shitload of uh, material. Let's bring him in. He can, he can be my material dump. Did I take off Barrett? I didn't, did I? Just do that. Bit of a faff to keep doing this, but I could just stick with one group. I seem to be keeping up levels wise. I just want people's limit breaks and stuff. Uh, what should we put on this guy? This spirit. You can have vitality. And you're fine as it is. Alright, so let's feel you full of bloody material. But you can be the healer as well, I guess. Bunch of summons, I guess. Sure. Load him up. That give you revive and heal as well. Not that we ever seem to use it. Uh, fire and ice. Right, Mr. Vincent. Welcome to the party, pal. You can have. With a few holes connected, because why not? We'll give you the other enemy skill. Manipulate. Steal. Gravity? Sure. That'll about do it. Okay. Let's also use a tent, I think, to heal everybody up. But it is technically just clouds. Mana. Let's use a turbo either instead then. There we go. Alright, save. And then we're gonna take this boss on. And show Vincent off. Alright then, you sack of shit. Let's do this. So Vincent uses a gun, he uses obviously long range again. So this is called a Materia Keeper. And we need to get an enemy skill from it. Can we steal from it, I wonder? No. Answers that question then. Big horn. So I don't want to kill this too fast, though. Maybe quite dangerous to be fair. Let's stop hurting it, I guess. I don't think Demi will work on it, but it could do. Generally work on bosses, so that would be a bit unfair. Big horn. And it does some damage. Oops, let the dice roll. Six and five, nice. Just 
waiting for him to do this uh, enemy skill so we can murder it. Hell combo. Ow! Dice again. <laughs> Cloud heal him up. Heal the healer. Six and three. Uh, five and three. Meh. Yes, hit Vincent. I need to show his limit break off. Just imagine if you could have manipulated it, that'd be good. Let's do some damage to it. Uh oh. Oh, that wasn't too bad on Clem. And now you're gonna piece him off. You're gonna get a clear hazard up the face. Oh, it can heal itself, good. That's not gonna be a pain in the ass. So yeah, Vincent just has like a pistol. This is his main weapon. Try an accident! Yeah, there we go. Enemy skill for everybody. And limit breaks. Dice away! And let's show off Galleon Beast limit break. So Vincent's limit breaks are quite unique. And you'll see why in a minute. And he only gets one per level. And he is now that beast until the end of the fight. Or he dies, question mark? And we have no control of him. Now he kind of just picks one of his random few abilities he has, which is either Berserk Dance. Or he has another one, I think, which is fire-based, I want to say. But yeah, he's really cool. That's it, it's ready to go with Mini Break. Right after this cure. Dice away! Oh, it's curing itself. Good. Pain in the ass. Well, we got the enemy skill, so that's all I was bothered about, really. Meh. Once he levels up and gets more dice, he'll be much better. Uh, try again, Incubic! My wind it is. Do all that much to him, did it? Always doing another move. Beast Flare! This will be a powerful one, I think. Oh. Okay, that's awkward, because that heals him, and I have no control over when he does that, so good. Let's uh, just ignore that ever happened and just uh, move on with our lives, shall we? Can't sit alone, he takes it like a bitch. He's dead. <laughs> fuck. Oh, fuck it out. Now he's not gonna get any experience. Face plant. <laughs> Still like he's 69 in the mob, but whatever. Gem ring. Ooh, material. Counter material. This is a good one. So this basically, basically allows you to counter-attack when you get hit. Obviously it's not always, but we give it to Cloud. So counter-attack when damage is incurred. So basically as we get hit, there's a chance of getting a free attack in. There's like a counter-attack. Alright, we better resurrect these two. I say two, just technically only kept the cat. But... And that is it for this area, I think. Ah, uh, fuck's sake. We haven't actually seen the other strong enemy that's in this area. Unless this is it. Nope. What I might do then is run around a bit and try and find it, just to show it. Relatively 
these mobs. The fiery passion. They're not even dangerous, they're just fucking slow everything down. Now I've got to wait. Fuck! Should have probably equipped uh, Vincent's new weapons as well. We've actually had one for a while. Wait two, I don't think we've shown this yet. Oh, that did the trick. So yeah, Vincent, I don't know if I mentioned, is actually one of the, the second optional character that you can completely just not have in your party at all, just not get in the game. He is totally optional. But a very cool character. So yeah, we have a Peacemaker. I don't remember where we got this. It was like quite a while ago. I want to say it was even like Calm. Maybe we got it. Maybe. Yeah, you get, I guess a range of different type of guns like shotguns and stuff. Rifles, pistols. So what I might do, I might switch Lightning and Demi around. So mobs like... Well, not necessarily the weaker mobs, but stronger, just ordinary mobs, then would be quite useful. There's multiple of them as well. They'll help. Okay. So yeah, what I'm going to do now then, I'm going to run around and try and find this sort of mob that's, I know you can fight in here, which is quite a big and dangerous one. And you actually saw it in the flashback, with Sethoroth. I don't know if you can find it out of here, so let's just stay inside for now. Yeah, I'll be back once we find it. There it is. Second fight. I expected it to take a lot longer. Ow! Fuck! I didn't think it was that dangerous. Fuck! Uh, panic. Okay, flamethrower we can actually learn as an enemy skill. Okay, good, now we pissed off. A Garlean Beast, which I'm pretty sure may actually heal the dragon because it's fire based, so. Ah, but fuck it. Wow, why did that sound weird? It sends shivering. That's anti fire, right? I kind of need him to cast Flamethrower on Cloud, though. So yeah, this is one of the first enemies you see in the flashback that Seth Roth just owns. Okay, that didn't fuck all. That should heal him, right? Oh. Okay, I'm gonna not do anything. I'm gonna see if he'll yeah, cast a flamethrower on Cloud. Okay, does it, why does fucking Cat Sith get hit so hard? Come on, just do flamethrower on cloud so you can learn the enemy skill, damn it. This is some flamethrower is something we could have learned from like the cave after the chocobo branch. From one of those really shitty enemies. Little, like little flying dragons in there. I don't think I ever learned it. Why but everyone but Cloud? Why do you hate me for? I mean, if Vincent kills it before we get it, then fine. But... Yeah, yeah. No, you need to flamethrower him. Back. Okay, he's not healing again. Fuck it. Clever hazard away. Nice away. I could always go back to that cave that I lay a day and get it flamethrower easier. Hmm. 
Nice, you got three dice now. Thirty-three for Vincent. It's got a fire fang. Okay, well that's all I wanted to show off, really. Cool enemy that's uh, really powerful, considering the rest of the enemies in there. There's more damage than the actual boss did. Okay, well that's the end of Nibbleheim and Mount Nibble. We've left our buggy behind. You can see it over there. We'll miss you. Yeah, probably not. Smelled of Dio or whatever his name was. No, we'll see where we're heading next. I don't think we can actually see from here. I think it's around the corner. But yep, that'll be next episode. So, goodbye for now.